Um, let's talk tools that we need in the kitchen like our, 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 you know, our, our spatulas and those kinds of things. What you're looking at from Kitchen HQ is the three-piece ultimate silicone set. And this is your scraper that you see right here. It's your scraper spatula. These are all silicone, so they all have give on every area. And then you have your two squeegees. This is the long one, this is the short one, this is the long one. You might be saying, well, those kind of look a little bit different than the regular tools. It kind of looks like a, a spoon and it also kind of looks like a spatula. Okay, yes, that's exactly what they are. Kelly is back with us. You saw her using it also kind of as a knife as well. So Kelly, there's a lot of uses for these. Yes, so many uses. Just hang out with us because this happens to be my favorite spatula set of all time. There's a lot of reasons, but number one is how they're built. This is not a traditional spatula, right? That's just the silicone sort of, you know, flexible. I want to show you on the inside here. Now, clear is not offered, but I, we made a clear one to show you what's happening. It is a metal core on the inside, okay? So you do have the give at the top, but on the inside, you have a strong metal core. Perfect for scraping blenders, for scraping inside food processors. So that's the tall one, but you see that strong, really hard metal core, by the way, dishwasher safe, um, but I always rinse mine because I'm always using them. Plus you're getting the small scraper. You ever had it where you just want to get that last little bit of jelly or that last <laughs> little bit of peanut butter or that yes. last little bit of mayonnaise? Yeah. This one is, I use this in my makeup. I'm oh, telling you, that yes. last little bit of $50 foundation, I can do it. <laughs> and then you have our, your traditional scraper spatula. So if you're somebody that bakes, oh my gosh, to get in and out of all the bowls. So you're getting the three pieces. Clear's not coming to you. I'm just showing you that metal core, right? So you're getting all three pieces, lots of uses for this, okay? So for the little one, for the baking, it's so perfect for getting things out <gasps> of oh, trays yes. that are hot. And you saw me using the small one on that empanada maker. If you grab the empanada maker, it's so perfect for flipping or getting those little empanadas out that we just had um, a couple of items ago. So this is can get right down in. You can see it literally scalding hot. I'm not touching it and it pops it right out there as well. So really perfect for that. That's the small one. It's also a really good scraper spatula. So if you're making, you know, sandwiches or you're making, you know, we make like three or four, um, peanut butter and jellies a week here at the house. I can scrape it out there, right? So it goes into that jar really nicely because it has that curve, but it's not too flimsy because it has that strong metal core. And then you can go straight down to your toast. I put it on the toast and I flip it over. And then you have that nice curve. It's like a thousand times better spreading with this than spreading with a traditional spoon or a traditional knife. And then I can just run it through the dishwasher. So it's great for the peanut butter sandwiches. And that's the little small guy, okay? It's also really good if you bake um, for stirring. Okay, mm -hmm. we can get back to that here in a minute. I wanna show you some other uses, but great for stirring your icings, like your icings yes. that come in the jar. Yes. Um, so this one's fun. If you have a, a stand mixer, yes. how do you get all the stuff off of it? I mean, <laughs> well, besides the obvious, which would be licking it <laughs> clean. If you're trying to do a little bit more professional than lick it clean, right? So when I pull that up, I can either take the small or the large. Let me grab the small here just to get my paddle. Look as it will scrape oh, yes. the chocolate right off the paddle. If you want to get every drip, every drop of that baking, because it's not flimsy, because it has that metal core, look inside the clear one. Every one of these has that interior metal, metal core, okay? And then let me pop that off. When I take my bowl and I start to pour, Tamara, what is the worst? It's that you can't get it all out of the bowl, right? right? right. So now you have that, look at the edge literally oh, wow. scraping ev and I can't even go back over it every last bit of brownie yeah. right whether it's your chocolate chip cookies what are you baking where you want that perfect scraper spatula right mm -hmm. this is going to be that perfect scraper spatula you could use the long one here or you could even reach in to really get down into the bottom and use this one okay for every little last drip and every little last drop doing some acrobatics so that you can actually see as yeah. I'm doing that yes um, just to get every little last drip out of that pan there's that scraper side of it so so many uses for these most important is that it's not flimsy you do have a bit of give at the edge of the silicone but you're getting that hard metal on the inside so that's the difference between these and like a traditional spatula. And to me, to get these on clearance is just such a steal.
For sure, for sure. And you're seeing- I love it here too. Yes, you're taking it right to the griddle. Right to the griddle, right to silicone, right? So these are like super heat resistant, 500 degrees. Um, I can take it right to the griddle and lift up my egg or pancakes. You somebody mm -hmm. that likes to do pancakes on Sundays, mm -hmm. look at that. It will lift up the entire pancake um, and gives me that surface area to do it with. So it's not too flimsy for that either. So, so many uses for them. And then I'll tell you, Tamara, this is my fave. Okay, I'm okay. Gonna, let's come back here. We'll cook a little. Okay. Um, this is my favorite because it's the traditional size of the spatula, right? But it cuts, okay? <laughs> so I'm actually gonna pop my eggs. That's why I said it's kind of like a knife yes. because it has that strong metal core. Come back here as I'm scrambling. It cuts. So you, can, you don't have to get a fork to whisk these for you. Okay. It's actually going to be able to cut as you cook. So you're using that edge now. Yes. And we'll let this cook up a little more. And as they're a little bit harder, okay. you'll see. Look at it just cutting through the protein of that egg, through the white of that egg, okay? So perfect. And then look, I just want to show you how it scrapes. Literally scrapes. Oh, perfect. Every last. It's perfect. And that's the thing. With a traditional spatula that's just silicone without that metal interior, it's flimsy. You know, it just, it does an okay job. Maybe you weren't complaining about it, but now you're going, oh, yeah, yeah. that makes perfect sense, right? And, and, and then yeah. even if you're doing... Yeah, Go ahead. and I think I think that's the deal because sometimes we will have, like you said, the traditional um, flimsy spatula, and it's fine, and we may do with it. But now that you see there is something better that you are going to use not just for when you're baking, but you're going to use it for when you're cooking, when you have that nonstick, when you don't want to scratch up your surfaces, when you don't want to use a whisk and then a spatula and then a fork and then all these different things just to make one dish, you're going to pull these out. These are on clearance they're less than twenty dollars i wouldn't be surprised if they had been twenty dollars a piece you know sure. um but they're not you're getting all three of them on flex pay for six dollars kelly we'll come back i want to see more cook more as you're cooking with them but i encourage you to go yes. ahead and shop with us six eight one six nine three okay so this is what i use it for a lot so you can actually take the edge of it and let's say these were like super large shrimp and you just wanted them popped in half you see how it literally just sliced that shrimp in half? Yes. Or the, even the squash, it's cutting right through. It's so hard to see because it's slippery, but it's cutting right through the squash and cutting that in half as well. Let me get to a shrimp here. Popping that shrimp right in half. So, you know, whether it's your ground beef and you're just trying to chunk up your ground beef or maybe it's a thin chicken breast, you don't have to dirty another, you know, knife or another spatula or get out the kitchen shears. You just take the very tip of it and the very end give it a little pressure and look, just slice that shrimp right in half. And that's the thing I love about it too, because now I've left dishes to do, right? I didn't have what? to slice in advance. Right. Let me pop that on low. And then this is the other thing um, I like it for. Okay, do you love egg salad? Are you doing yes. keto? Are you doing all the high protein? Um, so we've got our eggs on the inside. And right. then, ugh, relish in the egg salad. <laughs> My husband loves relish. I don't, it's a whole thing in our house. <laughs> Um, and then I like it. I like the relish okay. of the egg salad. <laughs> I know. It's a thing, right? It's like, I love egg salad, but you put relish in it and you ruin it. But anyway, we're doing it because he's going to eat it. Okay. And then I just want to show you real quick my last demo. It'll scrape on the inside of your mayo jar, right? Get out all that mayo. And then it will actually cut my eggs. So it'll cut 